All right, welcome to this weekend slash new moon horoscope for April 17th through the 19th. My name is Athen. So we have the new moon taking place on Saturday in Aries. So this is the last of this whole Pisces energy here on Friday when the moon shifts out of Pisces. So it's been a very nebulous time. It's been a very spiritual time, a lot of surrendering, letting go and trust. And I think on Friday, there's some final things that we're going to be working with on that Piscean level of peace and tranquility in our lives as well. But on Saturday and around Saturday, a few days before, a few days after, we're going to be feeling this new beginning now involving our assertiveness, involving our goals, our drives, our ambitions, and all of these things that are about Aries. Aries being the beginning of the zodiac is about initiating. It's about courage. It's about having that wherewithal and drive to go after the things that we want in life. Now, what these objectives are are obviously going to be different for everybody, but as an overall energy, this is the time to be really thinking about what these goals are, what these initiations are, and maybe how you can have a little bit more of this assertiveness, courage, and initiative energy into uh, into your life. Maybe it's starting a new project. There's been so much transformation that I think with all this activity now in Aries, a lot of this... uh, past letting go and surrendering is now transformed. It's now created a new beginning. And that's a lot of what we're going to be experiencing here on the weekend. And then next week, we have a lot of aspects involving Mars and of course, more activity in Aries in which the ball will certainly get uh, moving even more. So this weekend, I really recommend reflecting, especially on Saturday in terms of these Aries types of uh, activities or uh, concepts. And that will help set the stage for a lot of uh, action and energy that we want to utilize as the moon starts to fill up, which will be next week. So on Friday, leading into it, like I said, the moon's gonna be in Pisces, so still rest and relaxation, I think will be very important on Friday in particular. Uh, Mars is still squaring up to Jupiter here on Friday, so this is expanding our motivation. So with this energy, we've been feeling this on Thursday, and we'll feel this on Saturday also. There is this perhaps optimism, or we have this uh, expansiveness to what we want and what we enjoy out of life. The key here, because we're in this new moon energy, is to take it slow and use this, like I was saying, as more of a reflective time. You can initiate things and move forward, but I would really suggest uh, if you are, treat it as a learning experience, go with the flow, and especially on Friday, make make sure you're getting enough of that rest and relaxation. The moon is gonna be also conjuncting up to the south node on Friday as well, which is again, a little bit more of this releasing energy, squaring up to Pluto. So I think there's some things that we're still finishing up in regards to the last lunar cycle uh, on Friday. Now, Saturday, we don't have any lunar aspects, but we do have some important aspects. Saturday and Sunday, we have Venus squaring up to Neptune, Mercury sextiling Neptune, and Mercury uh, semi-sextiling up to Venus. So this whole activity here involving these three planets, we have Venus, the planet of enjoyment, of sensuality, of the things that we're connected to in life which is often our relationships, but anything we enjoy. Then you have Mercury being activated Saturday and Sunday as well, which is our thoughts and our communications with Neptune. Now, Neptune has been transiting Aquarius and squaring up to Venus like this on Saturday and Sunday, I would really suggest that this is a letting go energy in terms of what we once thought we enjoyed perhaps, um, or it might have something for you uh, personally to do with relationships or your pleasures and enjoyments of life. And, um, learning to let go in a balanced sense. So what this can sometimes mean with Neptune is a very vast imagination. So I'm thinking especially with the Neptune sextiling Mercury, a really good imagination, a really good um, spiritual take on what we've learned and understood uh, during this weekend, but during the last lunar cycle as well. And uh, with Venus though, in particular, just make sure you're not going to any extremes with your enjoyments, whether it's the sensual elements of life or any extremes with relationships in terms of maybe um, seeing things more than what they actually are. Oftentimes with Neptune, uh, it can blur our vision. And in this case, it's blurring our vision in terms of our uh, enjoyments and relationships. So just keep things nice and grounded. You'll get the most out of it. And it can be very romantic when you're taking that action in that very balanced way. And romantic meaning anything that is uh, spiritual that we enjoy, whether it's relationships or whether it's um, simply connecting to um, the simple pleasures of life. Now that uh, semi-sextile up to Venus and Mercury means that there is something that we are uh, realizing, I think, that we enjoy. And I think this is all part of this new moon energy is a newfound enjoyment, a newfound initiative, a newfound drive that is shaping up. It's slow and it's subtle, but I think on Sunday it's really going to hit hard because the moon is conjuncting up to Mercury and Mars in Aries on Sunday. So Sunday, I think, is when a lot of the Aries energy we're going to really start to feel 
start to build. And then like I said, next week with a lot of the um, aspects involving Mars and Aries, a lot of this initiative and drive will certainly be a, a gateway for us to move forward with a lot of this energy. It's been like stepping stones since that transformative time back in uh, March, but now we're past all of the major intense aspects. We're now moving into the new cycle of Aries. So this is certainly uh, the new beginning of, uh, of the next 30 days of the next six months and, and larger in our life as well. Now, one thing on Sundays, Venus is going to be trining up to the North Node. So I think uh, there's something shifting here with relationships. And I think there is a newfound uh, path, a newfound growth and learning about relationships, about enjoyment, about the things we really enjoy. And I think, again, this is coming from a lot of what we're understanding about what we want uh, around this new moon on Saturday. All right, so let's go and draw a card. See what Spirit would like a little more attention on for this new moon horoscope. Okay, Aquarius. So this is where Neptune's transiting. So this is probably a reminder to step into that spiritual freedom. Neptune has been showing us that, and Uranus too in Pisces also, it's about spiritual freedom, but Neptune here is about letting go, and it's about surrender, and it's about trust. So there's still this emphasis, and I think a lot of what we learned during the last lunar cycle is sort of playing a role here this weekend. Um, in particular, though, with trusting and letting go of how things are unfolding in the world, perhaps, or with your community, or with your friends, or with your groups. Anything larger than self that is an ideal um, is what we are going with the flow with this weekend. So this is probably a reminder to remember that uh, Neptune is an Aquarius, which makes it very specific about contribution, giving, and being a part of things larger than self. Perhaps So perhaps it's a reminder to do that and um, to implement those Aquarius energies into that flow and presence that we learned during the last lunar cycle. All right, have a fantastic weekend, everyone. I want to thank you all very much again for all of your support. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you'd like a personal reading, please get in touch, and I will talk to you all on Monday. Take care.